Also the Bitcoin halving time. So Bitcoin halving um, reduces the supply. And then there was the ETF. So basically we've got a perfect setup of liquidity plus new demand yeah. plus reduced supply. And so the rest of the year should play out the same way. I mean, I continue to be very bullish this year and very bullish for most of next year. That's Raul Paul, the co-founder and CEO of Real Vision. Raul Paul is very bullish on cryptocurrency this year, and most of his confidence comes from the upcoming Bitcoin halving event, which has uplifted the crypto market every single time in history. Raul Paul was recently interviewed by Wealthion, and he mentioned some of the crypto assets that could rule the 2024 bull run, which we are going to see post having Bitcoin. In this video, I'll be breaking down these crypto assets and discussing why there's so much hype around them for a massive rally in the next bull run. Could these crypto assets be the perfect investment opportunities right now? Well, for an answer to this question, you'll have to watch this video till the end without skipping a second, because these crypto assets might be a hidden treasure all set to surface in the upcoming bull run. Before we start, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon. So, let's discuss the top crypto assets Raul Paul mentioned during his interview. 1. Bitcoin Because this asset is the best performing asset in all recorded human history. Bitcoin itself has done 20 million percent since 2012. It has produced 150 percent annualized returns since 2012. Bitcoin isn't just another asset in the cryptocurrency market, it essentially sets the pace. The upcoming Bitcoin halving is a critical event that typically leads to a market surge by reducing the number of new Bitcoins entering the market, thus tightening supply. What makes the upcoming bull run unique is the increased demand for Bitcoin, especially following the recent approval of Bitcoin ETFs. These ETFs have broadened Bitcoin's appeal to a wider range of investors, which has, in turn, driven up its price by a staggering 37%. With the halving on the horizon, this mix of increased demand and reduced supply is expected to push Bitcoin's price even higher. Raul Paul points out that the halving will likely boost Bitcoin's value due to this dynamic. Some industry experts are even predicting that Bitcoin could climb to over $150,000 by the end of the year, making a potentially 136% increase from its current price. For anyone looking to invest, these factors highlight a potentially lucrative opportunity as we move closer to the halving event and beyond. 2. Ethereum The second most obvious pick for most of the experts, including Raul Paul, is Ethereum. And that's because of its role in blockchain technology, as explained by Raul Paul during his interview. Bitcoin is a blockchain, but it's not used for much yet. They're building applications on it now. But there's other ones like Ethereum. It's basically another layer to the internet that allows the transfer and storage of value, whether it's digital assets or even real world assets. You can have contracts on chain, stuff like this. Ethereum is the second most popular cryptocurrency on the market and remains one of investors' top choices. While Bitcoin often grabs the spotlight, Ethereum holds its ground as the second most popular cryptocurrency. Since the introduction of Bitcoin ETFs, Ethereum has seen a solid 18% increase in price. That's impressive, especially when you consider that Ethereum ETFs haven't even hit the market yet. Now, the reason why we're mentioning Ethereum in this video is because there's a high anticipation of the approval of Ethereum ETFs in May, because the deadline for the SEC to give a verdict on the fate of Ethereum ETFs is in May. Now, there's a bit of pessimism in the market regarding the possibility of Ethereum ETFs, because the SEC seems to be not as much interested as it was in a Bitcoin ETF. JP Morgan has pegged the chances at about 50% for approval, reflecting some hesitancy from the SEC. On the other hand, Ethereum enthusiasts are optimistic and believe that the SEC will approve an Ethereum ETF in May because similar uncertainty prevailed until the approval of Bitcoin ETFs. Adding to the global perspective, Hong Kong has already approved both Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF applications, setting a precedent that might influence the SEC's decision. If the SEC does decide in favor of Ethereum ETFs, we could see a dramatic surge in Ethereum's price. Experts are throwing around numbers as high as $6,000 by year's end, 
Now if that doesn't pique your interest, I don't know what will. This potential approval could be a game changer for Ethereum and its investors. 3. Solana Solana is a competitor of Ethereum and stands out as one of the most promising ecosystems in the crypto market right now. Solana will outperform all cycle. And it's as simple as that. Why has Solana been a better performing asset over time than ETH or Bitcoin? It's because it's newer. What's fueling this optimism for Solana? Well, it's been making headlines with its robust infrastructure that supports high transaction throughputs and low costs, making it an ideal platform for NFT trading and DeFi applications. These features are drawing more developers and investors into the Solana ecosystem, which has seen significant growth and activity over the past year. In the first quarter of 2024 alone, Solana's influence in the meme coin market became evident, with coins like Dog With Hat soaring by over 2,000% in just a few months. This isn't just a flash in the pan, it's a sign of Solana's growing appeal and utility in the crypto market. Furthermore, decentralized exchanges on Solana have crossed over $1 billion in trading volume, highlighting its increasing importance and utility. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. Solana has faced its share of challenges, such as network congestion and transaction failures. But here's the kicker. The platform is not sitting still. Upgrades are on the way to address these issues and enhance its stability and efficiency. Raul Paul's enthusiasm for Solana isn't just about its current capabilities, but also its potential for future growth. He sees it as a critical asset in any crypto portfolio, especially for those looking to capitalize on the next wave of technological innovation in the blockchain space. So if you're eyeing the next big thing in crypto, Solana might just be the ticket. What Raul Paul thinks of meme coins. Meme coins and dog coins, all of this stuff is use cases of cryptocurrencies on Ethereum or Solana or wherever. And that is just culture. That's the fun of the internet playing out. And it's a wild, speculative, gambling place. Meme coins are indeed speculative and are more prone to market volatility. And that's why Raul Paul has termed them a wild, speculative gambling space. But here's what he says next. But we all enjoy having fun too. So as long as at least 90% of your assets are in something like Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Solana, feel free to play around with the other stuff, get involved in the culture, but don't expect to make money, because you won't. Raul Paul is most probably referring to long-term gains because it's been known for years that meme coins offer better short-term gains, so they might not be for you in the long term. However, he did acknowledge the massive success of Dogecoin which stands out among all meme coins despite being tested from time to time. Now, to keep it short, Raul Paul believes Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana are the future and could lead the next bull run for the reasons we covered in this video. But here's the thing. The crypto market is highly volatile and shouldn't be considered as the only investment stop. Get out there, explore more investment options, diversify your portfolio to be on the safe side, and remember to always do your research before putting your money into crypto. If you're still lost, our next video on how to get rich in the new digital economy might answer all your questions. Go ahead and watch the video now. Before leaving, hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section below. We will be back with another video soon.